Hello, my friends. So welcome, all of you. Almost 113,000 star seeds, light workers, and wanderers to this magical session. And today I have channeled the Pleiadians to ask about very interesting questions, many of which were sent by uh, yourself. Uh, and firstly, you know, I have asked about what is the truth about an image which uh, recently was uh, circulating around the internet about a uh, person who had supposedly caught a Bigfoot image uh, while the person was in a cabin uh, while he was on a some kind of vacation or something. So this image was caught in the uh, in a person's uh, camera. So I have asked about the truth behind the image and also I have asked in the session uh, someone asked me about you know the famous people right uh, many of the famous people like Taylor Swift you know even some rappers you know they are perceived uh, to have uh, become famous you know because they have sold their soul to the devil so i have asked about this concept of selling the soul to the devil and how does it work and what are the consequences that will happen have been revealed in this session also the pleadians have answered about what is the truth of 1111 portal and how can we access the energies and how can we use it and also what is the truth behind uh, the Positively oriented Orions, you know, if they exist, are they members of the Galactic Federation or the Council of Nine uh, has been revealed and it is absolutely mind-blowing and amazing. And with that being said, before the session begins, I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have joined on my Patreon uh, because, you know, recently I released some new channeling sessions which I have not shared on YouTube. And also, uh, there are many censored sessions which I cannot share on YouTube. So I share almost three new channeling sessions on my patreon channel and also uh, we do meditations so uh, looking glass meditation is coming up soon and we will do that on my patreon and i want to say a big thank you to all of you who have joined and also a big thank you to all of you uh, who have liked this video with your heart because your like is a service to others and your like will ultimately return back to you in some way shape or form with that being said, enjoy the session, my friends. We are the Pleiadians now in communications through this instruments in our hearts. And we as the Pleiadians shall now address and answer the queries which are presented today through this instrument's inner vibratory system. However, we recommend the peoples of your planet to only accept those thoughts which resonate deeply within the inner heart. Furthermore, with regards to the query about the so-called photograph of a supposed Bigfoot, we must state that the understanding of the image as presented is such that in the infinite cycles of creation there is various entities which exist on different vibratory planes the entity known as bigfoot is one such entity from a plane not native to your current third density reality furthermore this entity hails from a vibratory condition slightly removed from that of the human experience it is in essence an observer of certain energetic vortices and closely aligned with the earth consciousness as for the image itself what has been perceived is not a fully materialized third density entity but rather an impression or manifestation 
the being has chosen not to fully integrate into its density, which is why there is a blur or a lack of complete physical clarity in the image. This reflects the entity's ability to phase in and out of the third density at will, remaining largely unseen unless it chooses to reveal itself often in response to those who hold certain vibratory harmonics in their seeking. This image, indeed a fleeting glimpse, a reflection of the observer's interaction with an entity of a higher density, the veil that separates your densities is thinning and more such occurrences will become visible as the earth moves through its transition into the fourth density. We encourage each entity to approach such phenomena with curiosity and reverence for these entities, though appearing strange too. Your eye complexes are also children of the one infinite creator, serving their purpose within the grand design of the universal harmony. Furthermore, we shall now address and answer the other aspects of the query regarding the understanding about the aspects of realization of how does selling the soul to the devil work as many of the supposed entities upon your planet who achieve fame and success have done it further we the Pleiadians must firstly state that, within the understanding of the universal complex, the concept of selling one's soul to the devil can be seen as a metaphor for a choice in consciousness rather than a literal transition. Furthermore, every entity has free will which is the cornerstone of spiritual evolution. The choice to align with what your people's term as negative or service to self pathway involves a dedication to separation, control over other entities and personal power at the expense of unity, love and lights. Further, in our understanding, there isn't a singular entity known as the so-called devil, but rather a symbolic representation of the negative polarity. This polarity seeks to enhance the self through power, manipulation and control, which is opposite to the service to others pathway, where an entity seeks unity, love and light. Furthermore, when an individual entities are said to sell their soul, metaphorically, they are choosing to pursue a path where personal gain, fame, power, or material wealth is prioritized. Without spiritual growth, love, or welfare of other entities, Furthermore, there may be many occasions when these entities will be approached by the negatively oriented entities such as the Orions, negatively polarized social memory complexes, or the reptilian negatively polarized social memory complexes. Further, Within the understanding, choosing the path of service to self to an extreme degree can also lead to a delay or detour in spiritual evolution. The soul complexes journey towards unity with the one infinite creator is prolonged as the entity must eventually balance these choices with experiences of love and unity. Unity. Furthermore, actions taken under this alignment can generate karma, requiring future experiences to understand the impacts of an entity's actions on others thereby, learning the lessons of compassion and unity. 
The path of service to self leads to a profound sense of isolation. Since the core of this path is separation, the entity might achieve material success but at the cost of true connection with other entities. Furthermore, all pathways eventually lead back to the one infinite creator. However, those deeply entrenched in negative polarity will need to face a more intense realization of the illusion of separation. This can be challenging as the entity must then work through the layers of the ego mind and control which they have built up. Furthermore, all entities must remember that all beings are on a journey back to the Creator and we encourage all entities to seek the path of light and love for this path leads to joy, fulfillment and the quickest return to the unity of the one infinite creator. With regards to the other query about what is the truth behind 1111 portal, firstly, the 1111 portal as perceived in your spiritual understanding is not a physical gateway in the sense of a location or a traditional portal through which an entity may pass from one realm to another. Instead, it represents a symbolic and energetic threshold. Furthermore, we must state that the Number 1111 is considered a master number as it resonates with the vibrations of spiritual awakening, enlightenment. Furthermore, when this number is doubled as in 1111, its influence will amplify this number sequence is a wake-up call for the peoples from the universal complex to pay attention to one's thoughts and intentions. The 1111 phenomenon is associated with moments of synchronicity. These are times when individual entities notice this number sequence in their daily life cycle, suggesting an alignment with the universal complex's rhythm. It serves as a reminder that an entity's path is being watched over for guidance by forces beyond the material realm. Furthermore, energetically, when space-time dates our time aligned for sequences such as 1111, especially on November 11th. Many entities may see an opening of energy flow. This portal will facilitate easier access to higher dimensions, spiritual insights and personal transformation. It is a time when the veil between dimensions is thinner, allowing for greater spiritual communication and manifestation. Furthermore, on this day such as 1111, there are often global or collective focus on these themes, this collective intention can create a kind of energetic portal through the power of unified thought and meditation, enhancing the individual entity's ability to connect with the universal consciousness or the Creator's energy. Furthermore, we must state that with regards to the other query about is positive, polarized, High Council of Orion, a member of the Galactic Federation and Council of Nine, we the Pleiadians must state that the answer to this is firstly, the peoples of your planet must understand that the concepts referred as the High Council of Orion, the Galactic Federation and the Council of Nine are social memory complexes of various entities and groups on your planet. 
which have been used to describe complex interactions and organizations within the cosmos. Furthermore, there is indeed a small subset of positively polarized Orion entities who form the High Council of Orion who are positively oriented entities. However, 95% of the Orion social memory complex is service to self-oriented who seek to influence Earth's spiritual evolution negatively. These entities of service to self do not align with the positive polarity which seeks to control other entities and enslave those under fear and other vibrations. We must firstly also state that the small group of positively oriented High Council from Orion, however, are not a part of the so-called collective consciousness of the Galactic Federation or the Council of Nine. These small groups of Orion entities have sought their refuge in another reality and in another universal sector away from the current one. Furthermore, the negatively polarized Orion social memory complexes primarily have had interactions with the peoples of your planets in order to control them. Furthermore, we the Pleiadians now leave you all, beloveds. Bye. So my friends, from the session, you know, I basically learned that the image of the Bigfoot, you know, actually was an image of the Bigfoot. But what they said, what the Pleiadians said was that, you know, the Bigfoot, you know, was uh, not fully integrated into the third density. And the Bigfoot looks a little bit hazy. Uh, you know, like, and they said that, you know, it was because the Bigfoot did not fully manifest into the third density. So that's what I understood. And also uh, about the, uh, the selling the soul to the devil, you know, what they said was that, you know, basically, whenever someone aligns towards service to self, uh, negative polarity uh, automatically has an influence on it. And many of them, you know, they have uh, contracts with, you know, Orions, with reptilians and other entities. And that's what they said in the Sanderling session. And also, uh, with regards to the other query about uh, the uh, understanding of the positively oriented uh, Orion entities, uh, they do not uh, form the part of the Galactic Federation, which was clarified by uh, the uh, Pleiadians. So, um, I hope you know you learned a lot. And also, I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have sent me an email uh, for your own past life, your soul journey your soul's identity and any other questions which you may have i will channel for you you can send an email uh, on the email shown in the screen or also which is mentioned in the description also a big thank you to all of you who uh, actually subscribe to the channel because uh, it helps more than you know you know to move forward in this journey so thank you all for that and also thank you for downloading the free pdf of the transcripts of the sessions which can be found on the description and also thank you to all of you for uh, visiting my website as well if you want to search for any transcripts and read it it's fun and easy you can visit my website with that being said i'll see you in the next session my friends until then enjoy this session over here